right, folks, Mr. Hartzler here. On the last video, I showed you how to cast on, so we now have a bunch of loops on our needles. Uh, I always suggest that you count them periodically so you know how many you have, so you know if you're starting to lose them or gain them. Some people uh, favor one more than the other. I tend to lose them, so that's something to keep in mind. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So I told you before, I typically pick between uh, 15 and 25, depending on the size of the yarn. With this one, I'm going to go with 22, sounds good. Um, if that makes you feel weird, go ahead and go down to 20 or up to 24 or 25, whatever numbers feel nice to you. So when we are making our uh, following rows, after we've cast it on, we again poke our needle through our top loop. My right needle goes behind my left needle. I yarn over or wrap my yarn around. I then use that left needle. I actually caught an extra piece of loop. So wrap our yarn around, come through. That forms a loop. Since we are done casting on, I am now going to take that loop off of my left needle. Now I have one on my right needle. I continue to do that. So I poke my uh, right needle through my left loop, yarn around. Uh, push down and under that loop. Hopefully you can see that. So I come down and under. And then I push that loop off my left needle. For me, the first row, even the second row, seem to be very difficult. Um, I tend to be too tight when I cast on. So just keep that in mind as you go. That's one of the other reasons why I favor metal over wood. It's a little bit easier if you do get really tight to be able to loosen that back up or at least get stuff off the needle still. Push my right needle through the loop, wrap the yarn around, tuck that under that old loop, and then kick that loop off of my left needle. Do that for the entire row. Continuing to kick them off your left needle and pass them to your right hand. Kind of letting them fluctuate, go back and forth a little bit. There you go. Do that all the way down. Do every loop that's on your left needle, all of them that you cast it on. I sometimes have to, you see me bringing it towards me, I'm using uh, kind of my stomach to push that needle through a little bit and pull those stitches that are my right needle down a little bit, trying to keep some space so they keep a little bit loose. Again, I tend to be kind of tight with this. Um, the benefit to that is the scarves look really good in the end. Uh, no holes are very warm. The bad thing being it uh, can sometimes be difficult to add uh, new rows or to get your needle in where you need it to be. Uh, fortunately, I loosen up as I go, uh, so that's kind of good. I uh, don't want to be too tight or too loose as you go through. You want to kind of maintain consistency. Now I have two more left. Through my loop, wrap around. Pull that yarn down and through. It's not quite focusing there, but hopefully you can see that kind of coming through the loop. And then throw it off. I have one more on my left needle. Needle through, yarn around, pull that through that loop. Now I've casted completely from one side to the other. I now have it all on my left hand, or on my right hand, and I switch. So in crochet, you turn your work. In knitting, you pass from one hand to the other, and then you proceed like before. So you're always taking them from your left hand to your right hand. Let's see if I can get some of this out of the way. Maybe that'll make the picture a little nicer for you. Push my, yarn, my needle through, yarn over, and then I drag that through. And then I kick that one off my left needle. If for some reason you put your piece of work down, um, kind of halfway through, I never do, that would bug me. But you can kind of see that my right hand doesn't have as much work on it as my 
or sorry, my left hand doesn't have as much as my right hand. So that's one way you can kind of look at it. Or if you line them up next to each other, you can kind of see which one is longer, which one is shorter. When it's short like this, it's a lot easier to tell which one you're passing it to. And again, right there, I just I slid all of them up a little bit. And with my right hand, I'm always trying to pull them down. You don't want them to bottle up too much towards the end of your needle because that's when you start to lose things. And when you lose while knitting, it is very difficult to try and catch that all back up. That is one of the advantages to using crochet. If you, for some reason, drop one or add one, or just your hook comes out, it's a lot easier to fix because you only had to manage one loop at a time. With knitting, you have to worry about all of these, so you have to keep kind of shoving them down, keeping track of them. Uh, knitting is a lot more difficult to do if you're just sitting in the car. When the yarn starts to get close to the end, you can see how mine is tapered. All of them pretty much are. And once it starts getting past that little, uh, the smooth spot there, they have a tendency to fall off. So keep them back behind that point there. And we're almost done with this next row here. And last one off. Pull my needle out. And then I switch hands again always passing the stuff from my left hand to my right hand. Starting to add up on there and you'll notice too that it's a lot longer now than what it was before. I told you in the beginning I'm pretty tight when I do this and I've always noticed that even if I do a really good job of being loose about it my second and third rows start to kind of add some width to it. So if you're worried you know do a little patch be willing to pull it all out and give it another start. If you do 25 in the beginning and you do an inch or so of it and you realize it's way too wide, be comfortable and be willing to just pull that all out and wrap it all back up on the little spool or the ball, whatever you're using, and try it again. If 25 is too big, uh, drop down to 20, test that out. If you're not willing to pull it out early on, then you're probably gonna end up just disappointed in the end. Uh, it's a lot easier to change it when it's only a couple of rows than when you have five feet of scarf. Um, so that's knitting. That is going and putting multiple rows on. My last video, which I'll link below, you see me casting on, which is how you start knitting. So hopefully this was helpful, and if it was, please click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this or more of my other videos, my crafting things, then please subscribe to the channel. I click that little bell at the bottom. You click that little bell, and you'll get notifications when I put new videos up. So hopefully this was helpful, and if it was, again, please click that like button. Hope you have a great day, everybody.